So the biggest news this offseason in the 76ers world was that James Harden opted into his player option for 2024, but then requested a trade. And it's been about a month since that happened now, and we have not seen a James Harden deal yet. And I don't know if we're going to see one this offseason, to be honest with you. So what is going on, everybody? How is everybody doing today? We're going to be rebuilding the Philadelphia 76ers, and I will be trading away James Harden. Now, like I said, I don't know if this is going to happen. Daryl Morey is the general manager, and we saw the last time a top guy on one of his teams requested a trade. He waited till the right deal, and that was Ben Simmons in 2022. Ben Simmons requested a trade in the 2021 offseason. He didn't play at all throughout the first half of the year and then he saw a star like James Harden become available in Brooklyn and made that deal when he turned down way worse deals before that he could have gotten TJ McCollum maybe could have gotten Bradley Beal but he waited and got James Harden who was the better player that he could have gone but yeah I don't think he's gonna get a great return for Harden here he's a one-year expiring deal he's already expressed his desire to get traded now I don't think he would sit out or anything he's trying to make his bag for next year and get one last big contract but I don't think any team is giving up a major young star for Harden. Now, I know this isn't the greatest return for James Harden getting four role players, but that's what the Sixers might get in return. And they're in a really tricky situation if they do have to settle for a deal like this, because do you worry about Embiid asking out? But I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. I actually think this is going to provide some good depth for the Sixers, and we're going to build around Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey. So I don't even know if the Clippers are going to accept this offer. I'd be getting Terrence Mann, Bones Highland, Evita Zubats, and Norman Powell for James Harden, PJ Tucker, and Furky from Turkey. They say no. You know, what about if I take out Evita Zubats and I will also take out PJ Tucker as well in this deal? And we just did Norman Powell for Terrence Mann and Bones Highland. They really say no to that? Really? All right, so what about Harden, Montrezl Harrell, who they just signed? So sorry about this, but I'm getting Powell, Men, and Zubots, and they say yes to that. So yeah, it's not like a great return for Harden, but that's going to provide a little bit of a challenge today, which I'm excited for. I'm going to release probably... Furky, uh, no, we'll do Petrusev here because we do have one too many players on the roster. So I'm just going to start off the season with a nine-man rotation. We're going to give Terrence Mann a decent amount of minutes. I'm excited to see what he could do. As I was starting point guard now, you know what? I may make Maxi the point guard with Mann as the shooting guard. They could be interchangeable. We have Harrison Tucker at the forward spots and beat at the five. And then we have DeAnthony Melton, Norman Powell, who I'm both going to give 24 minutes to, Zubots and B-Ball Paul off the bench. So if an injury happens, I probably will have like Patrick Beverly in there right away. Or maybe Jaden Springer, who was killing it in the summer league. He killed it in the G League last year. And I think just for now, I will be sending him to the Delaware Blue Coach just for the time being. And the Sixers did pick up a new head coach this offseason in Nick Nurse. So we're going to be three and a half star balance under Nick Nurse. Our first game of the season's at home against the Pacers. And then we end up losing by 13. Max here at 26 and beat at 25. Two road games here against Brooklyn and Miami. And we ended up losing to Brooklyn. And beat at 30, 16, and 6. I know, we're going to get him some help. And then we ended up beating the Miami Heat by 24 points. There we go, Terrence Mann. And we've definitely gotten off to a better start than what we did in the first week. We are 11 and 5. So the, through the first 16 games, Tyrese Maxey breakout is here. He's actually averaging more points per game than Joel Embiid is. Terrence Mann can't miss a shot. Neither can Norman Powell. Their efficiency is off the charts. DeAnthony Melton's been good for us as well. I like what this team has been showing so far. PJ Tucker, who's averaging six points and four and a half rebounds this year, did just get hurt. He's going to be out for the next one to two weeks. Nothing crazy. Terrence Mann does have a bruised left shoulder, but he's day to day. He can play through it. And man, shout out to Terrence Mann. No pun intended. He's been killing it. As we are 22 and six. Oh my God. We are on a 10 game winning streak right now. The Sixers just can't lose. Joel Embiid is averaging 25, 11, and four and a half. And there we go. Tyrese Maxey is just absolutely killing it. Tobias Harris averaging 15 points and six rebounds and shooting 36% from three. He is open to a contract extension. That's a little rich for me. But I do want to bring back DeAnthony Melton, so I'm going to be giving him a two-year extension. Obviously, Maxey is due for the rookie extension in this offseason. Well, he was actually due for this past offseason in real life in 2023, but the Sixers opted not to giving him the rookie max. They guess I guess they want to see another year with him. But it's not like they had to make it this offseason because he'll be restricted next offseason, so they could just match whatever. Oh, and then straight off that new contract extension, DeAnthony Melton does get hurt. He's going to be out for the next four to six months. No, a spinal injury. Oh, you gotta be kidding me all right so norman powell is going to be probably a 28 minute a night sixth man and then we're going to give some more minutes or just kind of get pat bev in the rotation oh that's brutal 27 and 7 now damn we were on a killer winning streak so we do have joel Embiid as a starter on team lebron you're telling me tyrese maxi 
did not make the all-star game james harden did though for the clippers what's their record oh they're the one seed 43 and 11 it would be sick if we saw a sixers clippers finals because we are the one seed as well I don't know how Tyrese Maxey, who has a 66% true shooting percentage, did not make it to the All-Star game. Man, there's a point where I might just have to bench P.J. Tucker. Probably puts it by his Harris at the four. But yeah, we could be a buyer at the deadline. It is kind of much to have Zubats and B-Ball Paul off the bench as we just blew out the Spurs. Shout out to Norman Powell as our sixth man. He may win the award. I actually do want to see if he's in that award race. Is Embiid number one in MVP? That would be sweet. Uh, six man of the year. What? He's not there. Damn, but Embiid, number one in Depoy as well. Terrence Mann, number one in most improved, and Maxi's number four. All right, I have a fun trade here right now. We're going to be moving Mo Bamba, who's out of the rotation because I have a lot of centers, in a second, but we're getting Dario Saric back. Saric did play his first two and a half years of his career in Philly, and we're going to be bringing him back to the city of brotherly love. All right, so the Memphis Grizzlies are actually willing to give me a first round pick for easy beats. Zubats, it's their first round pick unprotected in 2025, and we're bringing Derek Rose over. So I'm pretty much just going to give those 17 new minutes to Dario Saric. I actually might do a little bit less to Patrick Beverly, and we could play Saric a little bit more. Pat Bev has been pretty inefficient, so you know what? I may give his minutes to Jaden Springer, who I'm going to call up from the Delaware Bluecoats. And we're actually going to start Dario Sarge. I changed up this rotation a little bit, and then we're going to have Norman Powell still be the sixth man with Reed, Tucker, and Springer off the bench. If we start to fall off a little bit, I'll insert P.J. Tucker back into the starting five, but I like those additions. And I'm excited to see how this team performs over the rest of the regular season. Crossing my fingers, no major injuries before the playoffs. Because we are killing it. No James Harden, no problem. We're 48 and 15. And Joel Embiid wins MVP 25, 10, and 4.5. And 2.7 blocks as well as 1.3 steals. He may get Depoy. That would be sick. No, Giannis beat him out. Terrence Mann was most improved. We almost won a ton of awards. Oh, we don't get coach of the year. Goes to Ty Lue of the Clippers. So we do see Embiid on all NBA first team. James Harden there. Oh, he had a killer season with the LA Clippers, but we had a great season without him. You had Paul George on all defensive first team. Embiid is there as well. And yeah, the Clippers are the one seed. Oh, wow. We fell to the three seed in the East. Damn, 59 wins. Yeah, we actually tied with the Cavs. Oh, that's brutal. But here were the end of the season stats and beat as our leading scorer. Then Maxi, Tobias, Mann, Powell, Sarge, Melton, who's hurt, Tucker, Rose, Reed, Beverly, and then there's Jaden Springer, who I don't know if he's going to crack the playoff rotation. All right, so it's going to be the same starting five as I last showed you guys, but the bench is going to be Powell, Reed, Tucker, and Beverly. We're going to be taking on the Atlanta Hawks in round one. Did they make any deadline moves? Doesn't really look like it. Game one, a rematch here of the 2021 Eastern Conference semifinals, which kind of spiraled the Ben Simmons career with the Sixers. We end up getting blown out in game one, which is not a good start whatsoever. Game number two, we end up beating them. So we split the games here in Philly and beat with 29, 7, and 2. They're Sarge with 18, 7, and 5. Maxi fouled out in 14 minutes. You hate to see that. Then we drop game three by two points in overtime. And beat with 33, 15, and 5. Also had four blocks. Harris had a good game, but an L is an L, and we're down three games to one. Damn, we lose by three points in this one. Trey Young explodes for 42. Are we going to lose in five? Maybe I make an adjustment. I don't know. Do I want to put P.J. Tucker in the starting five? Sarge has been fine offensively. Obviously not the greatest defender in the world. Let's try it. Okay. We stay alive. We end up beating them by seven. A lot of these games have been very close. Game number six, and we get eliminated. Damn, man. We had such a good regular season. Maxi had 31 here and beat 33. Damn, Norman Powell shot pretty poorly. Saric, oh my God, he was bad. Damn, so... That is a disappointing end to Nick Nurse's first year with the 76ers. It's going to hurt even more if the Clippers win it all. And they ended up losing in five to Boston, who we can never beat in the playoffs. LeBron James does retire this season. And Mike D'Antoni retires as an assistant coach. All right, draft lottery time. We aren't going to have a top pick in this draft. Our pick is going to be at 26, in which we do get to keep. That's huge. We really do have a good coaching staff with Dave Jorger uh, as an assistant. Probably butchered his name there. I just haven't said it in a while. Sam Cassell there as our top assistant who could definitely be a head coach in the NBA and obviously Nick Nurse. And then we have Dan Burke and Eric Hughes. 
notable guys, of course. I do feel like Norman Powell is going to regress, so I'm going to try to get off of him before he does. So I'm going to be sending him our first round pick at 26 and a second rounder for Austin Reeves. We do get a little bit younger on the bench and the Lakers accept that deal. And this is how the top 10 looked like. Bronny went sixth to the Spurs. Well, LeBron just retired. We did get Dawson Garcia there at 24 in the second round. We will sign him. So I'm going to pick up Jaden Springer's team option to Quavion Smith, though. I will be declining it. We are going to extend Tyrese Maxey the qualifying offer. We actually do have a little bit of cap space as a team, but we do have some notable free agents with Maxi, obviously, Tobias, Cork, Mize, and House, which I'm fine giving up. So what is Maxi's cap hold? Please don't tell me it's a lot of money. I mean, he was a late first round pick. It's $5 million. Whoa, I could go out and sign a Max player. Oh my God, Siakam in Philly is what I need. Invested into my veins. I don't know why I said invested, inject into my veins. I need Siakam so badly. The Bulls gave him a deal, but we're giving 15 million more. We could also get Paul George. I mean, he wants too much money, actually. Give me Siakam. Let's go. We get Pascal Siakam. I believe we don't have to renounce the rights on Tyrese Maxey, which is huge. We will have to look into the trade market and also the kind of veteran minimums, mid-level exceptions, but that is a huge pickup. We just got to make sure Maxey does not accept another offer at the moment. Boom. Pascal Siakam is officially a sixer. This is what the Sixers could do if they do move on from Harden. Tobias is an expiring deal. They could have cap space, but it's a big risk for Siakam. But hey, you now have Joel Embiid and Pascal Siakam, both from Cameroon. And there's your connection right there. So whenever Maxi gets a deal, here it is from the Hornets. Four years, 160. Let's match it. I'm also going to give Buddy Heald a one-year deal to come to Philadelphia. We can maybe get some shooting there. Boom, there we go. I would like to bring back Dario Sarch as well on a one-year deal. Oh my God, I can get Tyus Jones on a one-year deal. That is a huge pickup if we can do it. Please, Tyus Jones, come to Philly. We got two former Grizzlies backcourt guys with DeAnthony Melton and Tyus Jones. This is a really good team. Now, we may have too many guards now with Tyus Jones because I did just trade for Austin Reeves this offseason. So for now, Dario Sarge will not be in the rotation, but I really like what we have going for us. We got Tyus Jones and Tyrese Maxey in the backcourt. It's a little small, I know. Buddy Heald at the three. Siakam and Embiid in the frontcourt. Then we have Terrence Mann, Austin Reeves, D. Anthony Melton and Bebo Paul off the bench. We also brought back TJ McConnell to Philly. First game of the season's at home against the Pelicans, and we did win by eight. Did I show you guys the system proficiency? Well, it's four stars. Pelicans game, Siakam in his first game as a sixer, 36, nine, and seven. He took 26 shots. Good Lord. And beat fouled out in 13 minutes on opening night. What? So we are 25 and 11 this season through our first 36 games. Embiid has been our leading scorer, followed by Maxi, Siakam, Man, Springer, who's played a little bit now because Maxi was hurt, but he just came back. And we have Reeves, Heald, and Melton. Ty Jones is averaging 5.6 assists a night. This team does have way too many guards, so I do think I have a trade to make at this year's deadline. But who knows? Somebody could get hurt between now and then, and then we're going to need those guards. So in the 2025 All-Star Game, Joel Embiid is a starter on Team Ja. Tyrese Maxey does not make the All-Star Game, but Pascal Siakam does, averaging 17.7 points, 8.5 rebounds, 5.7 assists a night, shooting 35 from 3. Do I do point guard Siakam? Nah, I'm just kidding. So what is the trade deadline? We are still 14 games above 500 at 34 and 20. We're the fourth seed in the East. I do think I need to move one of Terrence Mann or Austin Reeves or DeAnthony Melton or Tyus Jones. Buddy Heald though has been just too good for us to move. All right, we're going to be making a trade with the Memphis Grizzlies. I'm going to be giving them Austin Reeves and Tyus Jones. I'm going to be getting Marcus Smart. We do need to improve our defense. Tyus Jones, I wasn't going to have bird rights on at the end of the year since it was a one-year deal. Reeves is tough giving up. I do wonder if I could snag a pick out of this Grizzlies team. Maybe we'll see. They do. Okay, I'm glad I threw that pick in then. All right, so yeah, Marcus Smart is going to be our starting point guard. And yeah, we have some of the best defenders overall in the NBA with Marcus Smart and Joel Embiid. Let's get Terrence Mann back on a three-year deal worth $36 million. We're on a two-game winning streak. Now three make that four-game winning streak, and then we ended up losing to the Knicks, but we are killing it. We're 20 games above 500 now. And John Morant, who is an all-star captain this year, does get the MVP award. Chi-Chi Jackson is your rookie of the year. Did not play at all in his actual rookie season. Okay. Tower Hero went six man of the year for the third straight year since he won in this game last year. Giannis, another depoy. Scoot Henderson, most improved in year two. And then Eric Spolster in the Miami Heat goes 65 and 17. Good Lord. As Wemby, all NBA first team over Embiid. 
who gets second team with Pascal Siakam. Ah, oh, we don't get three players here as Maxi does not make all NBA third team. We get Embiid on all defensive first team though. And we are the four seed in the Eastern Conference. Damn, this, wait, what? This team won 65 games? Is Spolstra the best coach of all time? They picked up Draymond Green. Jimmy Butler is hurt. I guess RJ Hampton is just him now. All right, so we're taking on Charlotte in round one, a team that we should definitely beat. We are going to be playing our big three a ton of minutes. I really like what we have going for us in the playoffs. I just need Smart not to shoot us out of games. All right, so we're playing the big three a ton of minutes. We're going to be doing a four-man bench. System proficiency is four-star balance, and we're going up against Charlotte. Still a young team, but they got Devin Vassell now. Just a good pickup, and they have Blake Wesley and Cole Anthony. What trade did they make with the Spurs? James Harden was traded for De'Aaron Fox. Okay, and Harden signed with the Magic. That's wild. Shane Goon was traded for Monte Morris and Marjan Beauchamp. Okay, Paul George for Bradley Beal. What happened this year? All right, don't lose to Charlotte. We do beat them in game one by 11 points. We held them under 100, which is nice. Game two, we end up winning. Held them under 100 once again. Game three goes to Philadelphia. We held them to 70 points. We are dominating them defensively in this series. We do lose game four, though. Oh, my God. By one point, Maxi had 37. Game five, we win. We gentlemen sweep them, and we beat them just by two in a high-scoring affair here in overtime. Shout out to the big three. I guess give me Miami who have a fully healthy roster now. So can we upset the Miami Heat? They beat us in game one by two points. Uh, it's definitely going to be a defensive battle. Game number two, we ended up winning by 16. We only scored 15 in the fourth, but a win is a win. Oh no, yeah, I guess I forgot to say, I'm sorry it's so late now, but PJ Tucker did retire last year. Game three, we win. That's a huge win by eight in Philly. Let's go. Let's take game four. Yes, F let's go. Let's go. Do not blow a three to one weed. Let's go, Embiid. And let's win in five. Ah, we ended up... Okay, we lost game five. That stinks. Siakam 26, Maxi 22, and B 21. Game six. Yes, we win. And the Philadelphia 76ers are in the conference finals. Taking on the Cleveland Cavaliers, who we all know that 2K just loves. And beat is averaging 25 points in the playoffs as a whole. Maxi... Average 22 in round one, and Embiid averaged 27 in round two. All right, taking on Cleveland. They look fully healthy, still have the elite front court and back court. Game one goes to Cleveland by 23 points. Game two, we take that. That is a huge win by nine. Siakam, yes, give me that. 42 piece. Game three. Oh no, who's hurt? Oh my god. <laughs> ah, you gotta be kidding me unbelievable man how long is he out for see yep broken rest nice Embiid is out for the season so b-ball paul you will be our starting center we're so screwed i'm gonna give Jaden springer some playoff minutes siakam's playing 40 maxi's playing 40 b-ball paul will play like 28 minutes a night we'll do a couple more to buddy healed and we'll do a couple more to marcus smart we are screwed man game three we lost by 29 why can't they ever lose a star, right? Why do I always have to lose my star? But we win game four. Oh my God. Siakam, I need this from you. Game five, we lost oh, by 25. Damn. Are we going to lose in six? Oh, damn, this was a gross shooting performance. Game six. Yes, we win. Holy crap. We won by 15 at home. Siakam with 35. Oh my God. 2K. Give me a game seven upset, please. Your sim has been so whack over the last couple of weeks. Let's keep it to be whack. I lose and beat and still make it to the finals. Okay. Let's just not choke. We're up by one. Just stay competitive into the third. Oh, the third quarter can get scary. Oh my God. We're up by one. Oh boy. Please win this. We're going to choke it. I know it. 2K is going to make me choke. We win. Let's go. Let's freaking go. No Embiid. No problem. Pascal Siakam is your Eastern Conference Finals MVP. Let's go. Holy shit. What a win. What an upset. I am Jack, man. Siakam. Yes. Oh, man. It sucks. We're going to be without Embiid in the finals. Going up against Memphis, who has a couple former Sixers. And Austin Reeves, Nivica Zubats, and Tyus Jones. But man, that was huge. I never beat Cleveland too. Siakam, man, let's go. Siakam's a freaking stud. When you make him the number one, even if his height's off, why is he 6'6"? Game one against Memphis, we win. Oh my God. If we win the finals without Embiid, are we better? Okay, no, I'm not saying anything. Game two, 
Damn it. Oh, man. If we would have won that, that would have been huge. But I will split the first two. Okay. On to Philly here for games three and four. Game three, we win. Oh, my God. Let's go. We win by 32. And Bede, or excuse me, Siakam. I'm too excited. 36, 12, and 8. Body healed. Hit six threes. Game four, we lost. Damn. Oh, my God. We got blown out by 41 points. Game five. Oh, no. Goes to Memphis. Backs against the wall for game six. Oh, no. We're at home in Philly. We get off to a really good start. And we don't blow away the lead just yet. We're currently up by 15. Just don't choke this fourth quarter. There we go. All right. We force a game seven. What a playoff run this has been. At, ooh. John Morant has a minor injury. Oh, my God. Desmond Bain is out. Oh. Is John playing game seven? Oh, my God. All right, no Embiid, no John, no Bane. This is crazy. All right, game seven in Memphis. Is Ja playing? Yes, Ja, wait, and Bane's playing. Okay, well, that teased me. <laughs> what? All right, here we go. Let's go. Game seven, just don't get blown out. I'm just glad I haven't gotten blown out in the Simcast yet because that just takes the life out of me. We're up by 13. Oh my God, don't choke this lead. And you choked it. All right. We're down by one in the third. Oh, oh my God, we're getting blown out. Oh, it was a good run. We end up losing game seven by 24 points. Maxi did all he could. Siakam kind of, yeah, he struggled from the field. Smart shot at well. Damn, damn. I really thought I was gonna be playing them without John Bain. That is a gut-wrenching game seven l chris paul does retire we all know that he will be heading to the hall of fame we do have memphis's first round pick but it's at number 30 and the thunder have our pick at 25 i would like to bring back sam cassell to be my top assistant next year boom i kind of just want to run this team back so we got galboni here with the 30th overall selection the spurs ended up with ian jackson he may regress but i do want to give buddy healed a one-year deal can i also steal tyus jones back 2k you could allow me to do this that would be huge hey there we go you're telling me i can get josh hart on the minimum do people want to ring chase with the sixers and i would take thomas bryant on a one-year deal as well and caleb martin on a one-year deal damn these guys are getting priced out there's too much talent in the league we get Jaden springer back on the qo so we might do a 10-man rotation this year and do something like this for now. But with all the depth I have, we could be making another mid-season trade. We're four and a half star balance. Let's win a chip this year. So Buddy Heald gets hurt. It's our first major injury of the year, but he's shooting 46% from three. That's all I wanted out of him. And the Philadelphia 76ers are 33 and 12. We are the three seed in the East. I don't think I'm going to be making any moves, like I said, till the trade deadline. Whoa. Whoa, the big three, only guys above 10 points per game. And then everybody's kind of in that seven to eight points per game range. Interesting. Definitely something to keep an eye on because I think I do like, because trading away my depth for a better player overall seems worth it, like doing a three for one. But then if injuries happen, I'm scared I'm not going to have the depth because yeah, we lost them beat in the playoffs. And were we equipped to play without him? I guess, yeah, because we had Siakam and he carried us in the conference finals and in the NBA Finals, but let's just hope that that doesn't happen this year. Embiid is a starter on Team Giannis, and then Pascal Siakam is a reserve on Team Giannis. And after the All-Star draft, you know that the trade deadline is very close. February 12th, see what we're going to do. All right, so I'm going to be trading Marcus Smart, Josh Hart, and that first round pick over to Brooklyn for Cameron Johnson, who has two years left on that extension that he got. Basically, Buddy Heald put on steroids with Cam Johnson because he's a little bit younger and he hasn't started to regress yet. So we're basically going to rock the nine-man rotation. And yeah, like I said, let's hope everybody can hold up strong. We're 48 and 15 at the moment. I just want that one seed mantle in the East. Oh, there we go. We finally got 60 wins in this video. Oh, I was hoping to get 65, but we can't get 64. Nope, we end up with 63. But MB gets his second MVP of his career. And Nick Nurse takes home coach of the year, which I believe is his his second of his career ah you can't see that award in this game that's weak but yeah and beat on all nba first team we get no sixers there but we do get pascal siakam on all nba third team and beat on all defensive second team we're the one seed in the east going up against the celtics in round one really i gotta face this team what 
in round one. It's about to be like the best eight seed ever, which is now going to scare me that I could lose in round one, which I don't want. Damn, Buddy Hill did struggle down the way. He's going to get like 10 minutes a night. I think I'm going to go about 14 to B-Ball Paul. I do want to make Terrence Mann the sixth man. And then Embiid, you can get probably 40 a night, 35 to Siakam. We'll actually do 37 to Siakam and Maxi. We can do 30 to Jones, 30 to Cam Johnson. Don't make me lose to an 8 seed 2K. 2 1, 3 1. Okay, thank you. We gentlemen swept them. Woof. Beat them by two in game one. Lost by nine in game two. Shout out to Terrence Mamma 24 here. Beat them by 10 in game three. Beat them by, oh my God, 48 in game four. And then just by one in game five. I'll take it. We're taking on the New York Knicks, who don't have Jalen Brunson, or if they do, he is currently hurt. And yeah, they don't have Brunson. They don't have Randall either. We do beat them in game one by 10 points. I feel like we should sweep this Knicks team. But whenever I say that, we end up losing to these teams. RJ at 26. Okay. Game number three. We win. There we go. By eight. I mean, we haven't really like blown them out. One by 10, one by 13, one by eight. I mean, nothing's been crazy. And we swept them. All right. We end up winning by eight. I don't care. Series done. And we're going to be taking on Atlanta here in the conference finals. Look to get revenge for beating us a couple years ago in round one. They do have Julius Randle. And they have Ben Simmons, former sixer at the five. Game one, Philly versus Atlanta. We beat them by 22. and beat with 37, 19, and five. Cam Johnson with 22. Maxi with 19. Game two, boom, goes to Philadelphia. We end up winning by 10. Embiid with a monster double-double. Game three goes to Atlanta by 11. Do not let them win game four because then I get nervous. Okay, huge game four win. We are low-key dominating the Eastern Conference in the playoffs right now. Oh, I shouldn't have jinxed it because now we're going to go into a game seven. Please win in six. Yes, thank you. All right, back in the finals. Let's freaking go. Embiid gets Eastern Conference Finals MVP. Lillard gets Western Conference Finals MVP, averaging 16 points. I mean, they do have the most improved player in Scoot Henderson. Also could be a six man also because uh, he's coming off the bench. They do have Mitchell Robinson at the five, but we win game one just by six. Game two also goes to Philadelphia. That's what I'm talking about. Game three, we win. Oh my God. Yes, let's win the NBA Finals. Could be in Portland. It would have been cool to get Damon and B together at one point too, but I wasn't going to be trading Maxi. You saw how well he has been for us. And I don't want to blow a 3 0 lead. It is possible. Let's see if we can win this game. Embiid is 30, 14, and 3. Terrence Mann is in with one point. D'Anthony Melton has five points. Siakam with 19. Did Maxi foul out? No, he's just off the bench. All right, give me a screen, Embiid. I don't know why. We're going to do the Cameroon pick and roll here. I don't know why I did that. Kick it out to Terrence Mann. 4 3. Come on, knock that down. And he misses it. Oh, got a steal there. Embiid in the half court. Let's kick it over to D'Anthony Melton, who gets inside. And he gets the layup to go up by three. They need a timeout. Oh, Anthony Simons gets open for three. He's going to miss that. Embiid picks up rebound number 15. What is Maxi? Yeah, Maxi is 25. Maxi Siakam pick and pop. Who's going to get open? Oh, it's Tyce Jones. I actually kind of messed up with that. But he's He's got Anthony Simons on him. Siakam, you should be able to go to work on Anthony Simons. Right, left hand, good. He's got 21. Tyus Jones with nine assists. B permanent D. He's what we needed from uh, our point guard. And he's going to foul. Scoot Henderson as he's going to go to the line, rocking the double zero. He hits his first free throw. He's got 19. Now is Scoot going to get points number 20? He does. So we are only up by three here. I just kind of want to get him beat in the post. <laughs> Yusuf Nurkic should be barbecue chicken for him. So let's see. He is tired a little bit. Are they going to send the double they are not and bead with the hop step inside left hand good and one joel Embiid and yusuf nurkic fouls out which may be a bad thing because mitchell robinson could probably contain uh as much as you can contain and beat a little bit more than nurkic can scoot henderson in the half court where is dame uh they're just not playing him as he knocks down that mid-range four point game we're gonna try to get cam johnson open here if Embiid could set a good screen and he just didn't so you know what let's just get him beat in the post on mitchell robinson oh kick that out to cam johnson who's open for three and he missed it no. Anthony Simons with the long two. That is good. That was a nice jumper hit, uh, from Anthony Simons. It's a two-point game. Or that was Shaden Sharp. I'm so stupid. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Yeah, I don't know why I said that. Well, yeah, he's killing it. Maxi Embiid in the pick and roll. Kick that over to Tyus Jones, who I really don't want taking a big shot here. So let's kick it to Embiid. He's got Mitch Rob in the post. Kick it out to Siakam. I don't know why I did that. Back to Embiid. Five seconds on the shot clock. Come on, let's get inside. Embiid. Good defense there by Mitchell Robinson, but it doesn't matter. Embiid's the MVP. Scoot Henderson takes a fallaway three. That is no good. Embiid picks up uh, rebound number 16. 
Oh, Siakam's wide open. Get it to him inside. There we go. Siakam throws it down. I almost didn't see him. And we are up by six. Scoot driving. Is he going to pull up here? Now he's going to get out to Mitchell Robinson. Mitch Rob, you want to take a three? Scoot takes a contested two. He's going to miss that. And they're going to start fouling. If Embiid knocks down both of these, we are chilling. Yep, knocks down the first. We're up by seven. That could be the dagger. Make it two for good measure. There we go, Embiid. So the Philadelphia 76ers do win the 2026 NBA Finals. And Pascal Siakam is your Finals MVP. He probably would have gotten it last year. And he gets it this year over Embiid. Wait, what? That's criminal. How does he get it over Tyrese Maxey or Embiid? Embiid averaged more points, more rebounds. I guess less assists than steals, uh, but more blocks. I don't really get that at all. And beat shot 47 from three in the finals too. Yeah, that seems like a little bit of robbery, I gotta say. But I hope you guys did enjoy this Philadelphia 76ers rebuild. I did trade away James Harden. We'll see if it happens this offseason. If he does get traded, I will be doing that team's correspondent move, whoever gets Harden, and a post-Harden Sixers rebuild when we know that return. But I don't think it's going to happen for a little bit, so that's why I wanted to do my version of it in this video. We got to really let Maxi break out, and I really loved the bench and the depth we had in this video also. And it was cool picking up Pascal Siakam in free agency. So if you guys did enjoy, drop a like if you did. Let me know in the comments which team we should rebuild next. I love you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.